There has been yet another attack on the TTC. Police say a person was stabbed on a TTC bus on Bloor Street West just under an hour ago. The suspect has fled the scene and that makes it the third TTC attack in just 24 hours. Earlier this morning, a suspect was arrested after chasing a couple of TTC employees with a syringe. Luckily, they both got away unharmed. The string of incidents putting transit riders on edge. It's almost on a daily basis that I experience or witness somebody else experiencing some sort of um, harassment. I was personally sexually harassed. 24-year-old Evelyn has been riding the TTC for nearly her entire life and says these days keeping herself safe on public transit has become nearly impossible. She describes the frightening moments. She says she was followed and harassed at St. George Station while on her way home from school earlier this month. I was honestly just really scared. I was sexually berated and harassed for several minutes um, and then followed onto the train. Um, luckily, at the next station, I was able to run off the train. And unfortunately, this isn't an isolated incident. She feels people like her are disproportionately impacted. As a young woman, um, I think we especially seem to be targeted. But like so many others, transit is her only option for transportation. She feels leaders have neglected the core issues for far too long, leading to an unprecedented rise in violence. On Tuesday, a woman in her 20s was seriously injured after being stabbed in the face and head while riding a streetcar on Spadina by an apparent stranger. On Monday, a group of teenage boys assaulted two TTC operators on a bus in Scarborough. 48 hours before that, a TTC employee was shot with a BB gun. What do you think is behind some of these recent attacks? Well, you know, I think that's the question we're all asking. You know, we've been listening to our customers and um, taking immediate action about putting people in stations, more special constables and supervisors and, and staff in stations for that higher visibility. But these high profile incidents that are popping up randomly, Right, it's concerning. TTC CEO Rick Leary tells us he's meeting with the city, mayor's office, police and union partners to find solutions. Mayor John Tory has increased the police budget by almost $50 million to address these types of safety concerns. Do you think that that's a good solution? No, most crimes that happen uh, are not stopped by the police. The police show up uh, afterwards. But I think really what we need is more mental health supports. Everybody presents it as either or, and I don't. I mean, if you look at the budget, yes, we are making an augmentation to the budget of the police. But at the same time, the budget also provides for an increased investment in the community crisis intervention program that helps uh, have mental health professionals go out and deal with people in distress. A union representing 35,000 transit workers in Canada says two to 3,000 members are assaulted across the country annually. We need to tackle this. Our members are scared. Our transit workers across this country are fearful um, for their lives. They're calling for a national task force to tackle violence against workers and riders. If there's a role uh, for the federal government to step up, we will no doubt step up. And some of the strategies being looked at include greater visibility of special constables on transit, more mental health supports in the community, more surveillance and de-escalation training for transit workers. Meanwhile, a 43-year-old woman is facing five charges in connection to yesterday's streetcar stabbing, including aggravated assault and attempted murder.